You know, things are definitely uh, have been moving forward. There's a long way to go. We don't have equality there yet, but with women uh, taking a stand and um, demanding it, I think I think we're going to see real change coming in the next couple years. With them, um, but we need our. our I'm going to do what I can. Believe me, um, Anna and I were both laughing, going, "Oh, there's not a man on our show that we can like." compare our paycheck to and go, hey, um, but, um, you know, I think there are a lot of actresses in Hollywood who are, who are now not accepting less. They're just saying no. We just have to have the, empower ourselves with uh, being able to say no and demand what we deserve. I think he's. It's a little different because it's not set in in um, in England. It's set, set in New York. So there's some changes. But Emily Blunt is the kick-ass female lead, and she's um, she's Brit all the way, and keeping her accent. And so there, there's a little. He, you know, definitely respects the book but definitely takes it off in ways that you can because it's, he's doing it in a visual medium so he's, he's added a lot of wonderful thing, new things so I think there'll be things that will make you know the fans of the book happy and then people who are coming to it for the first time it'll be it'll, it'll be great. <laughs> Look who's talking, Hi, man. We're losing you to this Yay. town. Okay, no, let me take one too. Here. 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 There's a Wonder Women. It was not, it was uh, the only two women uh, that were uh, on my set were my hairdresser and the script supervisor, which is basically the set secretary. That was it. In 1975, yeah. There, and now I walk on to talk shows, and, and, and it's all women, and there's a whole, there's just these women running around, do, you know, and, and, and it's all great. When you look back on your incredible career, is there a moment where it's your favorite Hollywood story? When people say, what's your, what's your thing like? What's your and why did it take so long to get her on the big screen again? Oh, I don't know. They just had a hard time <laughs> replacing me. Exactly. exactly. <laughs> No, uh, I think that uh, I think that they needed a woman. Sorry, I think they needed a woman a director, and they needed the focus to be about the story of who she is. And I think they got that. So, from what I understand, it's going to be great. So I can't wait. different aspects to it. I've run into roadblocks for being a young black girl in the industry or a young Iranian girl in the industry, definitely. I think oftentimes it is easy to fit into a stereotype, and stereotypes not just for ethnicity but for age and gender, where it's like, oh, I am this teenage girl, so in all scenes I'm going to take selfies, always. And it is just not, even though it is a small road bump, like, you know, taking a selfie doesn't hurt, but at the same time, it made me aware that it was my job to create a complex character. Thank you, sweetie. People love you forever. I don't tend to see myself um, as a woman first. I, 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 I think we have to be a little bit careful in celebrating one another. That, that we, I, I, I love all people. You know, I, I, I love the men that were in my life that made this possible. My daddy was the greatest human being I'd ever met. My, my agent at William Morris Agency, Sam Haskell, was my agent for 35 years and we're still best friends. So I, I just think there's sometimes a tendency that we forget, hey, there were some, uh, some guys along the way that really were helpful and lovable too. So. And back on the right way. Lisa, just everybody. Anything to